Today, we are going to learn how to do the salmon ladder. And before we start, you got to make sure you can do the salmon ladder correctly with enough strength. So, the first step, see if you can hold yourself up. Alright? That's a start. But now the next step to being able to pull yourself up and not have to use so much energy is to kick. So. Your kip looks like it looks slow. And here's the queen of obstacles gonna try her hand at the salmon ladder. Look at that. Look at that. Man, you got one up there. Okay. And see, this is what makes the video. That's right. Ready? Man. I just gotta guard my face. So, tell us what your approach is for the salmon ladder. My approach is kipping for sure. Kipping, I kip. yes. I told them kipping is the way to go. Kipping Don't is the muscle way to go. it, kip it. Exactly. You did good. Thank you. All right, what's your approach for the salmon ladder? So my approach for the salmon ladder is obviously you do a pull up. Uh huh. You pull up, you're gonna hyper extend like you're kicking up. You so, the CrossFit kit. Sort of like that. Fix it. All right. Now, how, how many times have you done a salmon ladder? Twice. Twice? Your first time you ripped your hand, I remember that. Now, would you say, would you say this time on the salmon ladder you felt more comfortable than the last time? Yeah, more because I didn't have my hands. You didn't have a cross grip, yeah, mixed grip. I don't have a correct grip. What was your grip? I like that. And when you hold it like that, the bar has more more wobble, more spin, and, and you're you're so more prone to rip your hands doing it that so way. So like my calluses, when I did it, as soon as I pulled up and caught it, that caught it, uh -huh. my, the bar went like that and oh. pushed up my calluses, ripping my whole skin. And I did it both one. It wasn't even one; it was both. Yeah, I remember that. But 
we put yeah. the green stuff on it. Healed pretty nice. It healed in like three days, which is really good. I'll put a little clip of the tear that I you had. Next yeah. DCNA class. Wrapped up. <laughs> it was bleeding like. Yeah, there was there was blood running down it. This is the actual one. So, what's your method of going into it? I'm gonna kip again. You know. All right, full Keep stand. Trying the same technique over and over. You can't go wrong okay. with the kip. Just get it at 90. Kip it. Throw. <laughs> Don't put that one in the video. That's going in the video. It's the thumbnail. Oh, I can't do it. Yes, you can. As she lays there, we got some good, uh, good falls. That was a good try. You're getting a lot better at it. You're, you're getting stronger. I've been doing pull-ups. It shows. Cody, what's your technique going into it? I don't know. I don't know anything. All right, I want you to pull up to an L. And I want you to kip as you throw. I'm already slipping. Come on, full send. And that is how we do the salmon ladder. Another way to do a salmon ladder is backwards. When you're backwards on the salmon ladder, looking up, you can actually see both sides instead of just concentrating on one side when you do it normal. That's pretty much all biceps. It's weird going down, though. 